A new state program is allowing select Troy University School of Nursing students to earn money while in school. This program helps the students, university, and area hospitals. WSFA 12 News reporter Julia Avan is live in Troy for our hometown tour. Julia, you were there on campus for a special signing day back in January for this program. I was, Rose, and it was really exciting to see these students embark on this opportunity and also work with schools or hospitals in the area. And to, with us to tell us more about this opportunity is Dr. Teresa Law, who is a School of Nursing coordinator and assistant professor. So, Dr. Law, first of all, tell us how many kids are in the School of Nursing at Troy University? Sure, we have approximately 290 students in the School of Nursing at Troy University through our Troy campus as well as our Dothan campus. And this apprenticeship is so unique and an opportunity like we were talking about earlier that you can't necessarily get in the classroom. Tell us more about this apprenticeship. So this apprenticeship op option gives our students, uh, like you said, a unique learning experience to earn wages for on-the-job training, and it allows them to be paired with a journey worker in the hospital setting and to receive one-on-one -on -one clinical instruction within that setting. So it helps to break the barriers for students by allowing them to earn wages, helping them financially. It helps us as a nursing school to not have to hire as many clinical adjunct because um, nurses are hard to find right now. And then it also helps our hospitals to have a potential future employees. So on all realms, it helps break down barriers. And if any student hearing about this opportunity wants to take advantage of it, how can they do that? Sure. So if a student um, applies for a, our nursing program here at Troy University, once they are accepted into the nursing program after their first semester, after they've successfully completed their first semester, they go through an application process um, indicating the facilities that they may be interested in. And then they'll go through a rigorous interview process with that facility. And then it's up to the facility as the employer to, to make a job offer to the students. And so once that offer has been made, they apply for a permit through the state and um, they start their apprenticeship. And you mentioned that you're going to have another signing day coming up to get more students with this opportunity. Is that correct? That's right. So currently we have 28 students in our apprenticeship and we have another signing day coming up um, in just a few weeks on May 10th where we will be bringing in approximately another 20 students into the apprenticeship. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much, Dr. Law, for coming and sharing that information with us this afternoon. I'm going to send it back to you guys in Montgomery. Thank you, Julia. Sounds like a very beneficial program.